In this bazaar in the northwestern Pakistani city of Peshawar, Shahzad Alam has built his business selling shoes. But building a family life is more complicated. Whenever a girl asks me to send a marriage proposal, her parents will refuse straight away the moment we introduce ourselves as Afghan refugees. Despite being born here, Alam is one of the estimated 2.4 million Afghan refugees living in Pakistan, unable to obtain passports, facing frequently delayed deadlines to leave the country. While some live in camps, many have settled in Pakistan's cities. Even those that weren't born here often have a long history. Afghans have been coming since the Soviet invasion of their home country in 1979. I have spent three decades here in Pakistan and just one decade in Afghanistan. I have everything I need here. I'm happy and I want to live in Pakistan. According to the Pakistani constitution, anyone born there after 1951 can claim citizenship. But anti-refugee sentiment runs strong. Many native Pakistanis suspect the Afghan population of spreading militancy and criminality in their adoptive country. Of the 1.4 million registered Afghan refugees, the UN says three quarters of them were born in Pakistan. In September, new Prime Minister Imran Khan pledged to grant them citizenship. It was a remarkable turnabout from decades of official policy pushing repatriation. The prime minister's announcement sparked swift and widespread domestic backlash. I think that the government's decision is not good. This citizenship issue is not important because Pakistan already has many problems. Pakistan should solve the problems of poor people as a first priority. Faced with resistance from politicians and Pakistan's powerful military, Khan has yet to take his plan to parliament. But he has kindled new hope among refugees that the country that has taken them in could become their permanent home.